Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in yet again. It's by the amazing Flex sitting on his bed in the new house that he purchased and still looking around at the chaotic environment that is all of my stuff scattered about the house in a kind of organized manner, but still there's lots that needs to get done. And with how much I've been working and how I've been out of town, um, it just seems like this will never end, but I know if I give it an honest, hard, one full good day's worth of work, it'll turn out being just fine. And I'm hoping I can do that tomorrow because tomorrow I'll have uh, the day off more or less and just a couple of things to tie up, loose ends to tie up with the old house. I have to change some utilities over. Um, but yeah, today, today would have been a good opportunity for me to get a lot more stuff done, but I ended up just sleeping like seven, eight hours away. I was supposed to work from eight in the morning until four, but I ended up going home early today because I was just not feeling 100% at all. I was feeling very uh, lightheaded and sore and a bad headache. And uh, fortunately, uh, circumstances at work allowed me to be able to go home. So I came home and I, I had some soup and drank a bunch of water and just I just fell asleep. Woke up around 4 o'clock and uh, texted my girlfriend, let her know what's going on and and I, I thought I was going to get up, but then I fell back asleep until 7 o'clock. So now here it is, almost 8 o'clock. I just got done filming my Circus and Flow Arts video downstairs. Uh, it was kind of rushed. It was how to do some isolations with Poi. And to be honest, a lot of the videos I've been making lately that don't have any editing, like the one you're seeing right now or the ones I've been making for the past few weeks, I'm not entirely 100% happy with. And I'm okay with that now because I'm becoming more comfortable with making what they call bad art. Uh, it's, an, it's, it's a way for me to uh, review the honest first take of what I'm doing and to work with it and learn how to do better that way. It challenges me to do better with speaking on camera and without having to go back and do edits. Now that's going to change by next year. I'll be doing some more edits and I think that the videos are more palatable to the eye if I'm doing edits. But I'm not going to rely on the edits as much as I have been in the past especially after doing this several week stint of doing um, just one shot takes with the camera. I think it was a good way for me to uh, challenge myself and learn more um, and to level up faster. This whole year has been an incredible experiment and I'm very humbled and excited and happy and, and full of gratitude really for all the people who've subscribed to my channel, watching all the best that I have to offer and all the worst I have to offer and everything in between. I'm just another person out there. I'm like you. You know, on the inside, we have a lot more in common than we would like to admit. I mean, human beings in general. There's a lot more that we have in common than we have differences, but we like to focus on the differences very often. Sure, I'm a weird person. You know, I'm, I'm a clown. I'm a, I'm a fire juggler. I'm an entertainer, character actor, person. I work at Renaissance festivals and, and all that sort of stuff. But if you, if you take all that out of the equation, I mean, we, we still have a lot more in common than people would, would, would like to admit. And I like to share the things that have enhanced my life over the years with anyone out there who's willing to listen. And that's the, the bulk of what this channel is all about, is sharing things that I've enjoyed a lot over the years and things that have brought me joy and otherwise have improved the quality of my life. And I'm hoping that I can do that for at least one or two people out there in the world. And it looks like we're up to over 970 subscribers, which means we're only about 30 away from getting to the 1,000 subscriber mark, which has been a, a goal of mine was to get over a 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and, and we're getting there. We're, we're almost in December now, and and we're almost at the goal, and it makes me feel really good. It makes me feel like I've, I've met my mark, but I still have a lot more to do and a lot more to accomplish with this channel and what I would like to do uh, as an artist and how I leave my mark on the Internet. These videos are permanent. And this whole thing was an, an experiment to document what it must be like for someone who knows absolutely nothing about content creation to create YouTube videos every single day of the year and see what happens. And for better or for worse, this is where I'm at right now. I've learned quite a bit and there's a lot of skills that I have learned that I've not been put to use because of the lack of the video editing. So um, I feel like I'm a broken record at this point. I'm going to let you all go now. I'm going to go downstairs and and straighten up the house. My, my, my love is coming over tonight, and she'll keep me company, and I'm hoping we can watch the new Cowboy Bebop, uh, the, the live-action one that has recently come out on, on a certain streaming network, and spend some time. She's going to be working just five minutes away from the new house here tomorrow, and I thought it was really sweet of her to offer to come over tonight and, 
and and share her company with me and we can watch some cowboy bebop it's a cartoon anime series we both love a lot we both grew up watching it and the new series i have to say my honest assessment i've only seen two two or three episodes so far two and a half i think we fell asleep after the the third started working the last time we were together and I think it's pretty good. I think she's still kind of apprehensive and skeptical about where it's going, but it's a it's a retelling. It's a completely different timeline, different kind of side metaverse or whatever, different different alternate alternate reality of of what the original story was with the uh, the animes, and I think that's all right. I kind of like it because it uh, offers something exciting for the people who've seen the cartoon over and over and over again, like this guy, and it also gives uh. Uh, something new and fresh, of course, for people who've never seen it. The ones who've never seen it, they wouldn't know the difference, and it offers them um, a reason to go back and watch the old cartoons, too. So they're both full of value, in my opinion, and I'm looking forward to spending more time exploring this new series. That's a wrap, folks. Thanks for watching this uh, this old this old Flekarooski guy over here talk your ear off about whatever is on his mind. Um, tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow's Monday. Monday and Tuesday of this week, I will be able to be here in my house and sort through everything. Maybe I can do some before and after photos and do a proper edited video. That'll be the first one in, 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 in months now, I think. At least months, yeah. But until then, folks, remember to never give up and to do your best to stay true to you and to be amazing. Thanks so much. I appreciate your subscriptions, your comments, and uh, all your interaction here on my channel. We'll see each other next time. Peace.